So, what's up guys? This is Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead and we are in the garden today. That's right. We're out here in the garden. It's getting hot fast. I don't know about you guys, but here in Oklahoma, the heat and humidity, man, it'll just run you out of this garden early, early in the morning. I tried to get out here at like 7.30 this morning and do a little work, but little man was sleeping, so I had to go wake him up so we could come out here and do some planting. Um, it is the 5th of July. I hope you guys had a great independence holiday. Um, we, we are going to try to replant Houston's corn on the 5th of July. I've never planted corn this late. We don't grow a lot of corn, but uh, um, we got some corn seeds sent to us from a channel called Bumblebee Junction. Again, because ours got blown down by the, the wind while we were gone. That's right. Houston's first corn crop inside the greenhouse got blown down. So, so we're, we're gonna, gonna plant them outside. We're gonna plant them outside this time because I don't want to start corn this late in the year inside the greenhouse because I don't want to take up all of my fall bed space. Um, but uh, Mark and Tina sent us a couple different varieties of sweet corn. One's a 81 day and one's a 71 day to kind of fill in the gaps. And one is pink. One's pink. One's pink. And we still have these seeds that we got from Luke. That's right. So I don't know what, what all we're going to plant. It's um, you know early July. It's really hot. We're going to try to get some work done out here in the garden. See what we can do with a late, we'll call it early fall corn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get to planting, Houston. Okay. So which one should we start with? So to get the ground prepped for where we're going to be planting, I've got the Haas Tools High Arch Wheel Hoe out. I've got the uh, furrower on there, so we're going to come out here in the garden. I've already worked the soil just a little bit. You can kind of see we're going to dig us a little furrow and put our, put our corn in a furrow so we can, uh, when we water, the water goes down in the furrow. And then as the corn grows, we'll be able to use our high arch wheel hoe, spin those um, shovels around and heal the corn with it. So let's get the start. Let's get started. Okay, I want the pink seeds first. I want the pink seeds first. <laughs> the pink seeds first. The pink seed. So this is a hybrid sweet corn that was sent to us by Mark and Tina from Bumblebee Junction. So like I said, they gave us two varieties of sweet corn. One is a 81 day and one is a 71 day. And the concept there, plant all the 81 day corn after it sprouts and starts to come up, you wait 10 days and you fill in the gaps with the 71 day corn. That's pretty smart right there, Houston. Well, they're not. And then we already get corn on the tenth day. <laughs> corn on the tenth day. No, I wish. Not quite. Eighty-one days. Eighty-one. One seed. One seed. One seed. Get down lower so you don't. So you get them where they need to go. Okay. There you one go. Seed. Can't get one. Barry got shocked by the fence. He did? Yeah. What did he do? He touched the fence and ran away. But you sure look sad. He's my dog. So we had just enough seed for four and a half rows of sweet corn. Uh, the next step, we're going to come back in here with some of our uh, composted um, chicken litter, feather, whatever compost mix that was that we bought from Leon. What was that called? Mm -hmm. Let me go find out real quick because my memory's terrible. Yeah, right there. Sustain 464 slow release fertilizer. I believe it's composted turkey feather and manure uh, maybe some chicken manure but i think it's turkey anyways we got four and a half rows we're going to put a little bit of that sustain fertilizer in here 
lightly cover the soil and water them in. I'm actually really surprised at how moist the soil is down in there. It is July, it's hot, but we've actually been getting quite a bit of rain here in Oklahoma. So our soil is actually nice and moist down there. What, buddy? Um, turn around, it, turn around. How is there no seeds right here? Because I just said we had enough for four and a half rows. We ran out of seeds and we got four and a half rows planted. Is that confusing? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. Why'd you do that? All right, Houston, quiz time. Where are you going? Come back over here. Come back over here. So pop quiz time. We used our wheel hoe to make a furrow, put our seeds in the ground. We put a little fertilizer in there with them, now covered them up with a rake. Now what? Now we water them. That's right. We got to water the seeds in, right? So this little corn patch here is the perfect spot to talk about the Haas Tools High Arch wheel hose. You can see this is the high arch, so it's got more ground clearance in here. Uh, right now when we dug our furrows, we got the furrowing attachment. As you can see, uh, I don't want to dig up my corn, but I've got the furrowing attachment on there. And as the corn grows, I will come in here with these two sets of stirrup hose, and I can straddle the corn rows and get all the weeds that pop up in between the rows. Uh, these, these double stirrup hose are like probably have to be my favorite little attachment for the, for the high arch wheel hoe because I can put one on either side, straddle my corn, and it'll make weed in this little corn patch. Super easy until the corn gets about probably 12 to 14 inches tall. So Haas Tools high arch wheel hoe. If you haven't seen Haas Tools, go check them out. Awesome company products that are made in America. Great company. So while we're on the subject of corn and talking corn, I figure we might as well come in the greenhouse and show you guys an update. So after the wind blew all of Houston's corn down, I let it go for several days because everybody said, just leave it. It may stand up. We tried standing some up, kept falling over, kept falling over, and it was just becoming a tangled mess. But look at this. Look at this corn. I know there's not very much in here, but check it out. That stuff is about nine or ten feet tall has hit the roof of the greenhouse and bent over but we're starting to get some ears of corn as you can see they're starting to grow his other bed over here is actually oh lighting terrible oh his other bed over here is doing a lot better it just doesn't have as much room to grow but it's still pretty thick but as you can see back here there's still several plants that blew over and they didn't exactly stand up and they're causing more of a problem than anything, so we're probably going to have to pull those out. Before we get off this video, I said a couple days ago we needed to get to uh, picking some peppers. Emily loves canned pickled peppers, especially banana peppers. Oddly enough, my 10-year-old girl loves banana peppers. And we are overwhelmed with peppers. This is my pepper plants right here. Check out this. If you guys can see this, I don't know, this thing is, this plant's loaded. This plant's falling down. Look at all the banana peppers. So, red banana peppers. we're gonna get out here and probably pick some banana peppers really soon. It's starting to get hot in the greenhouse right now. There's just no, no breeze in here, but maybe uh, during the heat of the day, today or tomorrow, we'll get some banana peppers canned. But uh, we're gonna try to stay cool. Well guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along on our little corn experiment. I don't know how well it'll grow in July. I think if we keep some water to it, let it get up six, eight, ten inches tall, put a little fertilizer to it, you just never know. I love experimenting. I promise you, I don't take gardening too serious. Probably 50% or more of my gardening is basically just because this little boy here loves it. We don't rely on it as like our only source of food. So, it's just all for fun. We enjoy it. I know the corn experiment in the middle of the summer may not be the best idea, but Houston wanted to replant his corn crop. 
so we replanted his corn crop. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next video. Yeah, there you go. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.